Wow. GG. Rachel Necro. Have you guys ever heard of Rachel Necro? It's basically Rachel Necro. Probably better, actually. Update deck list, yeah. RIW Hobbies 20 years anniversary, October 27th and 28th. Any people from Michigan in chat? You guys remember when I played Curse Obsession and I kept playing it and not attacking and losing my obsession because I don't know what the card did? I tried the blue black version of this deck now. Played against it once, I think I lost to it. But I don't think me losing had a lot to do with the black cards. I'm just gonna try and ride that bad boy to victory, I guess. Could opt and try and find a land, hit my land drops, be a bit greedy, but I don't think I need to. Alright, this is getting kind of... I need a land. Oh, it's rough. Obsession, what, was four up in your deck? You're gonna see Obsession, like... Well over 50% of the time. And you're like three or four first turns. First turns. And I guess you can mulligan some mad hands too. If you have obsession, that's probably pretty hard to beat. That's why I kind of like a lot of dive downs. I feel like... Might as well maximize the games where you do draw obsession and make sure you always win them. So saving a Tempest Gen is probably sweet. Sell a wreckage. I guess I messed up. I should have played Siren first. Oh, that was really bad. That sucks. Uh, I wasn't thinking about sell the wreckage. I might lose this game now. That was a pretty big mistake. If I played Siren first, I'd be countering the spell for two mana. I would have a mana I left up for Siren to use her ability. I mean, I'm not in terrible shape. I can probably still win, but... That was kind of... I guess, I guess that would have saved me from... Clarion or whatever. Yeah. That's fine. I think I'm still in okay shape. Up first to find a pierce, yeah. Adding a siren to the board was probably not that great. I mean, if he had expansion, he would have clearly played it. Uh, all right, I think I should play the Jin in case they have Niv Mizet. Because if I say go with two counter spells and they have Niv Mizet, I guess they can't really have several wreckage and Niv Mizet in the same deck, can they? Seems pretty unlikely. Seems hard for Tempest Gen to be a bad play. Alright, thank god. I mean, I made, a, I made a small mistake this game for sure. Uh, I guess Archaeology is probably fine. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. Fine. Alright. Orkite's probably not great. 
I need to look at dispersal's a bit expensive. Some scatter. They might have drakes, but you have more counter spell for drakes. Hey Schultz, thanks for the cheer, buddy. You've even dispersed to have more generic counters for Drake, yeah. Trim a few creatures. Alright, I'll just trim some uh some tricksters. I trimmed a war kite already. I like it, a little raising war between uh Chaiko and Schultz. You raise, I re-raise. Just waiting for someone to come and Blow you out. Like in those movie scenes, you know? At the auctions when they're like going like 20 by 20 and that guy at the at the, the very back of the room's like DI I'll I'll buy it. Everyone's like sold. Hey Ash. First thing to cut is the charts and ops. Really? You've been playing that deck a bunch too. Well, that seems kind of good to me. Since you only have like two good cards in your deck. You could also like be like, alright, I'm gonna mulligan the bad hands anyways, and I want to have them in my opening hand so I don't free one up, but you don't even have that many one drops. You only have like eight one drops. It's kind of nice to, when you keep like, just a hand that just has a two drop as, a, as your first play, you get to like opt on turn one and kind of set up your draw a bit. I was like kind of smoother draw. Main phase opt after milling, usually when you main phase opt you want to draw a land. Is that just baiting me? I'm gonna let him have an opt I guess. What the... I guess he needs red mana pretty badly. I guess I should have countered. He was looking for a land. I got paranoid. I was like, maybe they're ghosting and they know I have spell periods. They're like baiting me and if I counter, they're just going to go like justice strike my dude. But Wow, Jaikoi. Thanks. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All that sweet Aussie money. And Schultz. Thank you too, buddy. Appreciate the support. He could be looking for seal away. Yeah, that's a good point. Whisper agent in this list. You're playing 20 lands and you already have a bunch of cards that cost free mana. Dude, look at this hand. It's just so beautiful. This looks so much fun when you draw Obsession. You don't draw Obsession, you have to work a bit harder. Come on dude, play some spells, I'm gonna have to discard. Wow, making me discard. I should have just discarded a counter spell. Just for moral, moral uh, ascendancy or moral, uh, whatever you wanna call it. All right, let's use the right one. So if I use Spell Pierce, I can chart a course, but then I'm gonna have to discard and then I'll have just one counter spell up. Should I just use Negate? Should I just use Wizard's Retort? If I use Wizard's Retort, I can't counter a creature. I'll use one of my Spell Pierce. Let's see what I draw. If I don't draw land, I think I might play chart of course. Cause I wanna keep hitting my land drops with this hand. All right, I'm gonna play chart of course. Hopefully it's not a big mistake. All right, I'm gonna discard maybe wizard's retort. They're not close to being able to cast a Drake. What other creatures could they cast like a Lyra? They're gonna play Lyra and I'm gonna lose. It's gonna be so sad. I guess my guy's unblockable. 
And I'll discard Wizard's Retort. What should I play this weekend in Lille, man? I'm trying to figure it out as well. Why do they have River in their deck? That seems weird. Can we ever beat Resolve Lyra? I believe not. I don't think I left any out to Resolve Lyra. I'm just running so bad. Right, I'm gonna try and hit a land drop. I forgot to play Obsession first. <laughs> Guys, do you ever see the movie? Do you ever see the movie Big Blue? Le Grand Bleu? Guys, do you ever hear of Deep Blue? Do you ever hear of the, the computer Deep Blue? Good. I was running out of uh I was gonna have to discard more counter spells. I'm glad I'm glad open and decided to uh to play some spells. I'm gonna draw like five lands in a row and then we'll lose the game. Somehow. One two Three more lands coming next turn. They're gonna run me out of counter spell. Yeah, maybe I should have just you've dived down for Clarion. That's kind of spewy. Land. I don't think I can. I, I don't think I have anything that pumps, right? Should I fight over that? Probably not. Oh, I guess this guy's unblockable. I was gonna say Lyra. I'm scared of Lyra. This guy cannot be blocked. If I counter that, I can lose to like Cleansing Nova plus Counterspell or something. Oh, this guy's a wizard as well. I guess I'll just add this guy to the board. Wait, now I only have Wizard's Retort plus Spell Pierce? Hmm. Maybe I messed up. We'll see. But yeah, yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to do. Just got in. Thoughts on this deck? It's extremely good when you play Obsession on turn 2 as a backup uh, counterspell. It's the, ex the extent of my thoughts on this deck. Played that deck a bit. I think I played that deck in the last mox I played in, the last constructed mox I played in. I mean, Teferi literally does nothing, right? I'm still gonna counter it to show him I still had all these, but... I don't even know why I countered it. I had to dive down. At least you never have to worry about playing the wrong land. Yeah, that is that is definitely a consideration. Definitely something to keep in mind. Oops. All right. Let's see if. Uh, let's see how a non-obsession. Okay, ball. Let's see what Marcy is playing. That's always fun. Probably black green. Mulligan to five. Wow. What's Marcia's record? Zero zero. <laughs> Carnage Tyrant. Not exactly the card you're looking for. Here it is. Why'd she drop per- Does this deck never not drop perfect? I don't get it. What the hell?
Probably should even count. I guess I have another counter spell. That's like, yeah. Well, the perfect dragons emulgant to five. Let's see. I don't think I want sleep. Don't think I want negate. I think dive down is excellent. Trickster is probably pretty bad against them. You need to out nutrition them. <laughs> I'll go get some food. Be right back, guys. Apparently, I need to out nutrition uh, Marcio in this matchup. Trickster is good against Walker. Yeah, it helps a bit. I agree. I need. I think I need ear, maybe sleep. Or Trickster, I need some, or I guess Essence Scatter is insane against them. I feel like Trickster, yeah, I don't know. Trickster is pretty bad, I think, against them. But maybe I need it. I feel like Trickster is my worst card. What matchup is Sleep for? I'm guessing the white decks. I don't think I can board out my one drops. Because you're trying to not draw them. I can see Spell Pierce being kind of... I guess I don't want Negate. I can see Spell Pierce. No, I guess Spell Pierce is probably better than Negate. Maybe look at Dispersal on the draw. Maybe Wizard's Retort, I guess. How many Pirates do I have? I actually have more Pirates than Wizards if I board out Trickster. Archaeologist makes no sense. I can see boarding a charter course on the draw. But it's kind of one of your good draws, yo. I should probably keep in some tricksters. Wait, that one? All the counter spells? Expensive counter spells seems like good cuts. Yeah. Maybe you have too many counter spells. Maybe I should have four tricksters. Get those ops out. Nah. I don't think I want to cut up. Maybe this guy first, in case he has Harpooner. Alright, um... They have no black mana. So, yalla. I'm all in, gas bag. What you got? Cast down or bust? No cast down. Alright, I should probably be able to win from from there. Play Crafter. Play Crafter would be nasty. Right. That card. 12. They're at 14. They go down to 11. I play a Jin. 4, 5, 8. 14. 2 turn clock. Attack for 4 down to 10. They have 3 cards left. I guess I'll lose. Forgot about the good old turn for Carnage T. Maybe I messed up. Maybe I was just supposed to play Jin. Oh well. We jinxed it. We got overconfident. I forgot I was Carnage Tyrant. My bad.
Still not sure I win, but uh, at least I got the 13 months in a row reset from running Felipos. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the support. 13 months. Sweet. Well, that was a beating. And the list getting pretty long. It's like three pages long. I didn't think it would be that long. All right. I mean, I can't imagine bringing sleep against a Chupacabra deck, but... Also, it was only good because he had it on turn four on the play. Don't put the maybes. The maybes and shit. I don't think I want sleep. I just think I want the, the creatures. Let's see. Be able to counter. What kills a gin? Chupacabra and Vivian Raid. I think Spell Pierce is good. I don't want that. I think some chart, of course, is good as well. Sleep seems good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Tyrant is... Tyrant's not going to be that good when it's like... He's on the draw. He had double elf. Sleep seems... I feel like that was like super corner case scenario where he actually raced me. I don't feel like that should happen that often. Like Tempest Gin, Tempest Gin hits pretty hard too. <clears throat> Dev Wad goes for Ocarina, they could race. Yeah, I didn't see Walker. I guess you can board out too many creatures with this deck. You don't have that many to start with. These lists pretty much all have the walkers. I can see Marcio not being a walker type of guy. If I had to guess, I'd say Marcio just plays four Chupacabra. Maybe no Seeker Squire. Not sure. I do agree almost everyone has walker. Yeah, maybe you just need to bring in sleep. I don't know, Carnage Tyrant top. Alright, I think we lost. I need to draw a Djinn or an Obsession. I should have probably have all char Charter Course, you should probably have all the Charter Course on the play against almost every deck. Like, I don't know, I feel like that's some scatters freedoms for it and because of Chupacabra, etc. But even just countering a Jade Light Ranger is nice. That Duress got us good, yeah. That's how I was blagging to that blue deck. I Duress their Curious Obsession. Oh. I should have probably countered that. I was not even paying attention. Wow, I'm bad. Uh, I'm so dumb, honestly. Wait, why did he not attack with his daughter elf? Oh, because of Trickster. I'm not even paying attention. I like kind of give up. I don't think I'm going to win this game either ways, but... I should have obviously countered that Lanor elf. That was just a disaster. I don't... I can't win. Alright. GG's. Oh, that was dumb. I was, like, not paying attention. She must be like, wow, the Seek is just awful. Just didn't counter my Lanner Elf. 
Yeah, duress is pretty good. I mean, I brought in four duress too against the blue deck, but uh, yeah, I should have had, I should have like all the charter course on the play. You almost won. I think you maybe you won four charter course after like when you're on the play. <laughs> Needing gen or obsession, yeah, exactly. If you don't have, not only do you need gen and obsession, I feel like sometimes you need like two of these eight cards to win. Like one is not always enough. I think I was boarding poorly. I think I actually boarded out Carnage Tyrant against the blue deck when I was playing Black Green because my reasoning was that it's all about the early game and not getting obsessioned. And I would rather just have Raska anyways than Carnage Tyrant. But I guess, yeah, you just... If you can bust out a turn for Carnage Tyrant, it's going to be pretty good. Oof, Mono Red. Yikes. Yeah, I guess I should have Carnage Tyrant against a blue deck. Yeah, just casting all your tiny dorks and racing, yeah. Here I am too. Yeah, I mean, I agree he had really good draws. He had like turn four Carnage Tyrant uh, on the play and turn five Tyrant, you know. And it's the power of Lanor Elf. You play Lanor Elf against a guy with no removal, you're gonna have pretty big edge when you draw them. Just like Shell Time Walk or whatever. Did this guy mulligan? No, I'm the one who mulligans. Alright. Game two at a game three, yeah. I mean, the game three, I wasn't winning either way. I was just had no pressure, unless you had no lands. But yeah, obviously, I should have Essence Scatter the, the Lanar Alpha. I was like not even paying attention. I'm assuming Diamond Mare is okay against Red. I'm assuming Dive Down is important to protect uh, what's his face. I'll board a chart, of course, on the draw. Plus, they have a lot of removal, so it's kind of hard to get an attack in. Like, Scatter is probably decent against them. Counter Chain Whaler. Spell Pierce might be medium. The expensive counter spells are also probably pretty medium since my guys are gonna die a lot. Spell Pierce. Everyone plays Frenzy, right? I'm gonna keep in one Spell Pierce in. Sirens out? No, I think it was for Essence Scatter and stuff. I could see Marauder out on the draw because if I play it on turn two, then I get. Uh... Not sure what my last few cards should be. I could see another spell pierce just protect Jin, but Slavical you want to counter. Maybe straight up negate is good against them. I guess I'll just play, I don't know. I'm not super excited about any of these cards, so I'm just going to go with Charter Course. Yeah. I was thinking Charter Course would not be so great on the draw, but. Yeah. Hey, Saltai, what do you think about going up to four Charter Course when you're on the play against pretty much everyone? I just upkeep. Am I supposed to upkeep Trickster Steamkin? Is that a thing? I was gonna want to spell piercing. You know? I guess I'll just do that. I don't know if it's good or not. Looks like it's working out for me. Oops. 
chest. They're down to two cards. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's let's all give my opening the slow clap here. I feel like I put up a good fight for missing a land drop too. Spell Pierce probably gets better on the draw on the play. Let's see. Wizards retorts feels bad. I think you just play Harold turn one, in case you draw Charter Course or Obsession. Jane, let's go. That's right. The question is, is that played on turn three and then full to lava coil or do I wait one mana? If I wait one mana, then he has to have two lands plus a lava coil. I guess it also falls to lightning strike right now. I'm gonna opt. Throw down to three cards in hand. I'm gonna wait one turn. Why is he attacking with Lava Runner but not Firebrand? It's kind of weird. Should I just say go again? Probably should have just said go. I think I made a big mistake. Oh. I could have Phoenix or something. All right, it's kind of a tough one. Spell Peter's counter is a uh, Spell Peter's counter is frenzy, but that's it. But I lose if they have frenzy. Scatter counters everything. We don't want this dive down. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dive down is gonna be good at some point. If I ever draw a gin, I need dive down to protect it. I only have two in my deck. They don't have lands, we know they have two spells. Bin a scatter. They have so many creatures. Yeah, I'm just gonna bin the dive down. I 
I could have also waited one turn on Charter Car, so honestly there was no rush. I just figured I would probably draw land and discard it, and if I didn't draw land, I would be pretty happy about it anyways, and like even a 1-1 one is not that exciting. I guess I was maybe should have waited on the Charter course. I figured it was just win-win. And I guess I was wrong. Even here, a dive down would be pretty good. You're really good. No loser, you're gonna play like Land Frenzy. Yeah, I have to counter it. If they have chain wearing it kind of sucks, but I have to be able to race. I can't just let them get a steam cannon play. Seems pretty unlikely to have chain wearner in hand the way the game played out anyways. Like almost impossible level of unlikeliness. Second so spell PS kind of a nice draw. What what are his two last cards in hand? Do you just have like two frenzy in hand? Does he have Banefire in his deck? I mean if he has Banefire Banefire for five, I die anyways. They don't have like a free power haste creature in their deck, I don't think so. Do I use double spell pierce or do I use siren? Double pierce? Probably. Tepicious sex siren. Saving Siren is better if they have exactly land plus Lava Coil. If they had Lava Coil though, I'd probably just have gone Wizards Lightning Lava Coil on their turn. What else could they have? I guess Shock. If I, they just kill me was a Shock. I'm just gonna use Double Spell Pierce, I think it's better. Also, I just lose to Wizard's Lightning if I, yeah, if using Siren would have been, like, big mistake. Huge mistake. Like, not even close. If I use Siren, I lose to Wizard's Lightning, I used to Shock, I used to Land plus Lava Coil, I used to, I lose to everything. I would have been pretty bitter to lose to the 5 lands, 13 spells draw or whatever. And I beat that red deck, I don't know, my draw warrants, warrants either, I mean they were good, but they weren't like crazy good. Doesn't seem like it should be a great matchup, but... Hey ben. ben says, been trying to keep up with the vids, been helpful watching you play the different green black decks. Yeah, I don't know. Not helpful for me. I don't feel like I'm learning that much. 
I guess I, I feel like pretty confident about Lano Elf at least. So that's something. I'm on the draw. I think I have to ke keep just because I have double gen and an op, so hopefully I can hit a two drop. Ooh, only the truth. Thanks for the cheer, man. Luck of the Irish. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that Lanor, that you should be playing for Lanor Elf in your black. I mean, it's not like groundbreaking. Most people do, but not everyone, I guess. Hey, Ben. B, B, B card is Ben. He's a Ben. There's, I guess, pretty popular name. Benjamin. The Elves and Two Dead Eye Tracker. Are you still playing a... Uh... I guess I'll top. I don't know if I have time for that, but... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Not a big deal either way, but... <laughs> Casting the wrong spells, trying to cast an island. What have been your thoughts on Doom Whisper, Iona? Assuming you're talking about Izoni, maybe? What's Iona? I don't know what Iona is. Is it going with the Mono Blue deck? Pretty good, honestly. We got smashed by one of the best players in the world, but we won our two other matches. What did they reveal? Raskas Contempt and Swamp. Just the nuts. Dude, J Dash Ranger is just unfair. It's just so good. Uh, I guess I throw it out. Hopefully, they don't have Trooper Cover as well. Yeah, everyone thinks Doom Whisper is bad, but the guy who won the PTQ had four duration. Alright. Is there no silver gel in this list? Nah, no, you only have uh... You have eight merfolks, but no. This is kind of rough. We know they have Vraska's Contempt in hand. So I think I actually have to say go. Vraska's Contempt 1 1 unblockable. Wow. Well, that was great for me. That was unexpected. Guys, expect the unexpected. Wow, that was amazing. Means I just get to play Tempest Gin now. It's questionable. I could, I could like save Siren, counter the minus to save Gin, and then kill Thingy. But then I think I'm just falling too far behind. What am I at? Twelve. That did not feel super good. Just bang the glass on my teeth. Why don't I play Arena? Because I don't have all the cards. And because people are better on Arena. Online magic online. Well, that sucks. This deck has been pretty good against black green in my experience. Not two. Yeah, if they have nothing, I win. <gasps> a 
guys look at Facebook. That's our classic look at Facebook for one second. Oh, it's pretty brutal. Why am I throwing? Do you think I do you think I enjoy it? <laughs> it makes me happy. I wonder if archaeologist is good. Seems kind of greedy, but maybe. It's my opinion on Admiral Oler. It's trash. What's up, Simon? I'm sure he had it. I'm sure he had something good. It's okay, guys. I was going to lose anyways. We got full entertainment value that way. Well, only 20 lands because you have nothing that costs more than... Tune in just in time, yeah. It's probably well, probably you who messaged me on Facebook to distract me, right at the time I was gonna add to add to cast my spell. Contrast the Germans. Maybe I'm gonna bring in a sleep. I feel like it kind of ends up in a race a lot of the time. Bo board out Marauders and. Third spell pierce. I'll try having spell pierce on the draw, just cheaper spells on the draw, and then sleep because they just have a turn five carnage tyrant. It might be rough for them. exactly. Well, this hand doesn't have a creature. I'll, I'm guessing you want to mulligan most of your hands that don't have a creature, but obviously this hands snap keep. AK Snape. All right, we lost, boys. Matter I turn one, GG. Ooh, please no Harpooner. Please, please don't have Harpooner. People don't even play that card. No, the rest, why? Dude, Ugly Art Elf, Ugly Art the rest. This is a disaster. How am I even losing to this guy? Should not be allowed. Let's see. What's the play here? Trickster seems pretty big. Contrary to explaining why Chart of Course was better than Trickster. Just just felt it. Not sure that play is correct, but he only has one green mana right now, so... The thing is... I figured I was more scared of 5 drops than 4 drops. Oh, that's sucks. I guess it's better to just play have some dudes out against Planeswalkers. Probably messed up. Probably should have just well. Obviously, right now I wish I'd play the tricks. Also, I keep mana up. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. Not gonna be a Vraska if I keep spell pierce. I mean, I'm not going to be dead Vraska if I keep Spell Pierce on top was up, is what I meant. Now we have a reasonable shot. Deadweight Trickster. Sure. That was a good draw. 
Yeah, I would even say that was the best draw. That was the absolute best card I could have drawn. Oh, that's him have dead weight. Because my Jin still could still one shot his Raska, so. I don't know, chat. Was it good to draw running gins? Why? Why gin? Was I wrong? Is like gin the best card in standard, not crackling drake? Can we just play gin and crackling drake in the same deck? Honestly, you probably cannot lose. Hmm. How greedy do I want to be? Uh, whatever. I was thinking about playing Charter Course first to draw Island, but whatever. Oh, right. Dive down. It's It's been dive down all along. My bad. Alright, I'm actually going to tap an Elf Upkeep here. Why play Jin when you can play 8 Drakes? Oh, you get to play Obsession, which is also just completely busted. Need more Steam Vents. If you could play, like, a few more Steam Vents. Raven Clath, thank you, thank you, thank you for the resub, buddy. Appreciate the support. All right, we spotted him a game. I tried, I tried to open it. Well, we're like undefeated versus none best player in the world right now. So that's pretty good. And even best player in the world had to get extremely lucky to beat us. I beat Black Green twice and I lost to Black Green once. Who's the best player in the world? I was we played against Marcio in round two. Marcio Carvo. I don't I don't know why there's not more dive downs in the deck though. I feel like that's a mistake. Cause Chup I mean Chupacabra, right? It's just also it's just your nut draw. Uh, um. I don't know. Dude, the Omega Lol emote is just so... Why did these girls make a song about... Uh, I'll send you the full link, uh, the full link, Simon. It's pretty great. Shock. Does it make any sense to move? Oh, right. If I don't attack, it falls off. I almost did it again. I caught myself. I am improving. There is hope for everyone, guys. See, that like could be a that could be a dive down right there. I caught myself at the last second. Jeez, thank God. Maybe I should have waited one more turn. Oh, I'll, I'll draw something. I feel like waiting one more turn is rough, but maybe it's worth it. Maybe I'll play that at a GP since I have to buy a deck anyway. Could probably get someone to lend me cards actually, but at least if it's bad, I won't have lost a lot of money. Gush would be good, yeah? Says for Recall would be good as well. What's your point? <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm still gonna lose this game. Probably, they have nothing. What do they have? I guess I'll just counter Charter Core. 
Hope that's not a mistake. I feel like they're not doing much right now, but... It looks like they're a bit flooded. Could have definitely backfired, but... When that deck says go with two mana up, Electromancer, and doesn't do anything, I think you should counter chart, of course, there. That was a good draw. And it's a wizard. Uh, they have a phoenix in the yard? Alright, I'll just keep countering. Since we established, they're probably a uh, super. F oh, they drew shock. Oh, that's pretty unlucky. I think my play was good. Oh, well, now I'm gonna lose. These they're out of gas as well, but they have more, way more gas. I have a bunch of one one for one. I think you should have only countered the jumps. I disagree. I think I played it fine. Like, he has Radical idea in his stuff. If I don't counter the first one, then... If I don't counter the first one, then they just go off. And then he brings back Phoenix, and like, I'm not even winning the race anymore. No. 100% countering was good. Then you just want to keep the the global counter spells against them because you don't ever really know if you're gonna to have to counter a Drake, an Electromance. Let's see which counter spells do I want? I guess the counter I counter the cards I care about are Drake, Drake's four mana, and then Electromance. The card drawing spells, what I'm gonna do, like counter me. Does the extra matchup changes the cards converted mana cost? No, it just makes it cheaper. Noth nothing changes the cards converted mana cost. Not that I know of. I think that's right. Oh, Marine, what's up? I was like, who's Marine? M M oh, that didn't work out. Still think it was. Marine and Gertzden. Hopefully I'll play a bit better if I get a future match. I promise I'll cast my spells and not die. He can safely feature me. All right, what's the play here? Just move in. Move in, hope I have Island on top. Greed, max greed. I feel like I need to greet a bit this game. Oh, I worked out. Uh, even, yeah, I feel like I needed... Plus I kind of had a backup. Things went poorly. DFY knows, no gamble in the future.
Please no lightning strike. I am sure they have lightning strike in their deck. This is one healthy, uh, one one curious boy. One obsessively curious boy. This feels like a pretty bad matchup. Especially if they have turned to Electromancer. I don't think playing Warkite makes sense, yeah. Like, I have no way to kill an Electromancer. They have a lot of cheap removal. Does not seem that good. Should I just counter that? They're down to two cards. Spellbeer is just not going to counter that much, I think. When they have Electromancer out. Well, I guess the Warkite's nice against Drake, too, I just feel. Warkite, my reader, is a girl. My bad. Is she? I'm really bad about that stuff. Alright, let's hope that's good enough. They have a Beacon Bolt. So they can do it all over again. Wait, why did... Oh, didn't you? Then you add six more counters on top. Good read. And even Spell Pierce doesn't feel that good. I mean, nothing's good again. Maybe Negate? Negate over Essence Scatter? When I'm on... No. Spell Pierce? No. I guess I'll keep in Spell Pierce and hope they just don't draw Electromancer. How's this deck? Seems fine. I lose to it a lot. And we're doing pretty good this league. It's definitely good. I don't know how good it is, but it's good. Ooh, I have the Sentinel Totem. Exile all cards from all graveyards. Definitely ran over average. Simon, what do you think the best the best deck in standard is? What should I play in the GP this weekend? Marine. Marine, what do you guys think? Or can you not share? Unprofessional, unethical to help a, a competitor as a, a common... Fortiferi. Simon called it, guys. Uh, am I supposed to not even play my guy on turn one? Maybe. I didn't even consider that. I have two spell peers. Tough. Tough decision. Yes, Essence Gather. What did chat say? Let's see. How is Jeskai Control versus Black Green? I think it depends on the Black Green build. And on the Jeskai build, but a lot of black green decks are main decking uh, Carnage Tyrant right now. Which is not the end of the world, but it's tough. Um, I would say overall it's probably pretty close. I think I have to let that resolve. You guys know I love to fire off all spell pierce on just about any two, but... If they play a Drake, I just lose. And I think it depends on the black green build. If you're playing like a couple Eldos Reborn, a couple Carnage Tower in main deck, maybe like Midnight Marauders and stuff. I guess you could also have crazy Jeskai builds. You could just start playing, what's it called? Star of Extinction, maybe. That's kind of my dream, just playing a bunch of Star of Extinction, like Control the X, but I don't know if it's good. I didn't... Yeah, I was asking for advice and Marine just flipped the question over. That's, that's your commentator for this weekend, guys. I asked him what he think the best deck in Standard is. And his answer was, 
like I have an idea. And then people wonder why we're not happy with coverage. Such incompetence. No, I'm joking, Marine's great. You know what's great? Dive down. Dive down is literally the, even even Kenji. Numa the mummy himself said dive down is the best card in Future Mox Com. Kenji, I'm not gonna try and say his last name. I don't wanna. Oh, I think I messed up actually. Oh, well, this is good if I have a. <laughs> Boom! Pirates! Yes! R Ooh. That's like, you know, your bucket list. Have someone fiery candidate your. Uh... Obsessive, uh, sirens. <laughs> I did a victory. <laughs> He's laughing. Oh man, I wish I could be a good sport like that. I probably would be laughing about it too if I did that, to be fair. I was laughing about my trickster player earlier. <laughs> All right, we're undefeated against non. Uh... Is Marcio a PT champion? <laughs>